Good afternoon, everybody. Come on in the studio. I am Lindy Tate from Caterbuggin, and we're going to paint something silly today that I've never painted before on the fly. Um, if you are watching on replay, I'd love for you to say hello, comment hashtag replay, tell me where you're from, or uh, let me know if you're new so that we can welcome you. Um, if you are watching on YouTube later, I'd love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I always upload my live videos straight to YouTube, usually pretty much right after we get off of here. Hey, Cindy, is it a happy day? It's going to get better from here. Hey, Donna and Rose and Ruth. And if you are watching on replay and um, you don't want to listen to all the hellos, you can just fast forward right through them. But you know, I think Sundays are a little bit more relaxed, and I like to say hello to my friends as they come in. Let me go back to where my Trish is here. Hey, Trish. Thank you. Hey, Karen and Jermaine. Hey, Carol. Patty's here. Oh, thank you, Patty. You're so sweet. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Robbie. Chica, how are you? Oh, they're going fast. I got a Pat Patty Willard's here. Hey, Patty. Uh, Luann and Alice and Kathy and Simone. How are y'all all doing today? Hi, Beth and Joyce. Sandra, Linda, Bridget. Oh, everybody's coming on in. I'm excited. Hey, Debbie and Kathy and Anne-Marie. Uh, Shirley, Donna. How are y'all? Um, I, I think a little bit of my problem is I ran out of my sinus medicine. Why would I do that? I did. So, anyway, this is going to make me feel better. Hey, Mary. Hi, Judy. And Anne Marie is in California. There's another Trish here. Hey, Trish. And Melissa. Happy Sunday, sweet friend. Hey, Selena. How are you doing? Hi, Claudia. Judy, thank you for those stars. Hey, Lucinda. Betty's here. Good afternoon. There's another Kathy. Hey, you another Kathy. Hi, Stacy. I've watched you for a little bit now. I, w I was quiet, didn't say much. I want to change that. I'm so glad. You just, yes, meet these new friends. These are the sweetest ladies you'll ever meet in your life. Hey, Nicole and Robin. I'm just happy you're here, by the way. Um, I was Opa here. Did I miss her? And Moidel's here. And Lori Hanby's here. Hey, Robin. Oh, they're going by so fast. I'm trying to keep up. Hey, Lisa. Lori. Debbie Gwen is here. So, are y'all in the mood to paint today? Um, hey, Barb. Yeah, I'm happy to see all of y'all, too. <laughs> Whoops. Excuse me. It was one of those days that I thought, I really want to paint, but I really want to create too. So I think what's going to make me feel better is lots of color, lots of silly, um, and hopefully y'all will enjoy it too. And we can just chit chat while, uh, while I paint. And yeah, I got my, see, it's the power of positive thinking, feeling good. This is, um, we, yeah, Wanda, we are sweating it out here, too. Oh, my. So, I've got my Belle Lily Feeling Good shirt on, and I love the feel of this shirt, by the way. And look at this. Y'all are going to be so jealous. I've got my new Love and Life jewelry. This is my newest necklace. Um, it's called Be Still My Beating Heart. It's got a turquoise heart. Now, sorry, but... I got it, and this is the only one so far. I don't, you know, we'll see if she gets gets the ingredients to make some more of them, but I love it so much. You'll love all of her jewelry. Now, look how well these Love and Life earrings go with, look, I just got to show you, go with my shirt. Let me see if I can hold it like this. There's turquoise, there's a little daisy, because I love daisies, and a little bitty feather on the bottom, a little white feather. How cute are those? I love them. Thank you, Trish. And let me tell you this, 
Oh, thank you, Barb. Oh, you make, you're so sweet. Uh, as soon as I finish here, when we finish this painting today, I want you to hop over to Love and Life. It's going to be on Love and Life. Uh, drop your link, Trish, or if Cindy has it, um, that'll take them directly there so you can follow her because she's going to go live as soon as I get off of here just to show y'all some more of her pieces and tell you a little bit about how she created them and what she named them. Thank you, Deborah. I wear these earrings a lot. Now, these are older Love and Life. I've had these a long time, and I wear them a lot. Isn't it, Debbie? Yes. I love them so much. Hey, Joyce. There's my friend Joyce. I talk about her on here a good bit. She was one of my, my ugly elves, too. Okay. We're going to chit-chat while I paint. How does that sound? Uh, Trish, that linked your um, personal page and not your business one. I think Cindy's coming with it. I think I see it there. Okay, so let's do this. I've got to, let me show you how I do it. We've got to flip, flip, and then we're going to bring you over just like this. And let me show you. I've been prepping. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, I painted it black hit it with the heat gun, and we're going to paint this funny lady that, you, now look, you see all the chalk marks? They're not going to matter. If you've ever taken any of my paint classes, thank you, Cindy. If you ever uh, have ever taken any of my paint classes, you know, it's a whole process. Unless I give you a template and we're chalking something out, all this is going to be covered up. You're never going to see any of that. I started over here, didn't like the perspective, so I decided to just kind of wipe it off and erase it. Melissa Hush now. <laughs> hey, Janice. There's going to be something on this side, too, and then there's going to be a background. It's not going to stay black, so we're just going to have fun. Oh, Betty, you're giving up your afternoon nap, girl? I don't know. Now, I'm fortunate in that I have a little bit of my AC flesh left. Um, they're not making this anymore, apparently. And the closest I've come to it is called Warm Bisque. And you can, if it's a little, if the Warm Bisque is a little too dark, you can just add a little white to it. But we're going to go with this AC flesh today. A little bit of that. Now, let me find a brush that I want to use. Because we're just going to need a little bit of this. And so while I paint, we're just going to chit chat about things. It's not, Cindy. This is none of you. Don't be saying that you modeled for this. You did not. She's beautiful, though. I mean, she's going to be the fanciest, cutest. I modeled it off of me. How about that? Um, she's going to be, oh, she is so full of life and fun that we are all going to want to be her. All I'm doing is, you know, just filling in where I kind of chalked out. <laughs> Trish. So, um, I don't know if y'all saw my post. We got the second volume of Mr. T's cookbook in the shop yesterday. Our sweet Cindy Kane took pity on me for never having time to get those all made up and listen y'all are going to benefit from that because the second volume is way nicer than the first one that i did it is so great i'm in awe and thank you again cindy i love it and um she's gonna have volume three ready to release in september so we're gonna try to keep up on that this time because i got her help now and another thing, thank you, Cindy. You had the link ready. Hey, Vicki. On black chalk paint. Can you only wipe it around? This isn't even chalk paint. This is just acrylic. If you use chalk, you can wipe it off of anything. And I wasn't sweating it uh, today either because I know all this is going to get covered up anyway. 
So I didn't even try hard to get rid of all of it. This is going to look so different by the time we get done. So different. In my head, I think it, it looks real cute in my head. I've never painted this before. But I just wanted to do something fun and happy and kind of silly. Because that's kind of how I am. And let's see, we're going to need a little bit. What I usually use to shade flesh is this um, Anita's. You can only buy it in this size, too. It's coffee. Hey, Francis, my sweet friend. How are you? There's Francis from Vine and Silk Designs. Um, and listen, any creatives who come in here and if I'm looking down painting and miss it, please drop your link, come in as your page, however you want to do it, because I want everybody to know everybody. I have heard you're a little bitty thing, Patty. You know, um, I'm a Kirby girl, so it is what it is. I also wanted to tell y'all now, I don't know, some of you may not have seen it on the Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs page. I'm leaving it up, I think, until everything gets going. But it is, um, I did a live in that group. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, y'all got to check out Cindy's page, Joy Junction. Um, she's getting her um, business back on the ground off the ground what what am i saying here um and doing so good y'all want to be sure to go over there and see her page and follow her hey jody is elizabeth here opa hey elizabeth you working hard today we we are all um a little shell-shocked. I think that we've had a lot of information coming at us this weekend. It's been a busy, busy weekend. It's been wonderful, but busy. We are learning a lot. We have a lot that we'll be bringing y'all. But back to what I was saying, I went live in the Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs group to talk to y'all about uh, my idea for a new subscription group. Technically, it wasn't my idea. Um, Several of you had asked me to, to do some more um, behind the scenes things, and they don't lend themselves to my regular lives. I'm never gonna quit doing my Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday creative lives. Let's, let's just put that right out there right now. But people wanted a, a little bit of a more controlled environment so they could see behind the scenes they could um, really talk to me and some people don't care to comment when they know the whole wide world can possibly see it and I get that there are some things I'm not going to um, I'm not you know I don't want to do when the whole wide world can pull it up here and on YouTube and this is just for you know creative um, inspiration etc you know like that but the group the private group will be you know more about this addition on the house it'll be uh, some people want me to do um, show how I do my makeup or skincare which I'll be happy to do that there are some women that want to talk about some issues they're going through without the whole wide world knowing. And so it would be an, a very small, intimate group. I don't even know how many may join, but I'm in the process of getting that set up right now, been working on it this weekend, and I will let you know. I would love to know if any of y'all find that interesting, that you might be uh, interested in. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be as much as a, um, like a subscription box would be it's gonna be fifteen dollars a month a lot more content you know i'll take you shopping with me uh, we may walk over to my mama's house we may cook sometimes we may you know it's just gonna be behind the scenes and very 
very casual and comfortable. And I, I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to it. And you know, I don't care if only five of you join and want to hang with me. It'll be well worth it. Um, and I would, you know, Oh, Stacy, you're so sweet. Vicki says, Meg, can you overnight some of that to me, please? Oh, I did some of that. <laughs> ah, y'all are talking about your, are y'all talking about your cushiness? I'm just kind of, see, I'm just shading, shading her in. I don't want to get too, too caught up on that because this is more of a silly painting than anything. But we'll have fun chit-chatting while we do it, right? Hey, Olivia. Oh, Nora wants to. Good, 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 good. Oh, I'm so excited. We got to talking about, if you want to hear a lot more about it. I mean, a lot more about it. We had the greatest time. And when everybody started opening up and telling me what they'd like to talk about, it just felt so good. And you can still watch that video on the Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs page. It'll be there probably until I open up, get the group open up and running. All right. Now, what do y'all think? I'm thinking she's kind of sassy. Do we want to do red hair? Do we want to do blonde hair? I'm not going to do black hair because of the background. So, hey, Pamela, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I am thrilled to have you here. I hope you'll enjoy what we do. We're doing something a little different, a little silly today. Painting is my wheelhouse, but I've never painted this before, and we are just going to have fun, fun, fun with this. Hey, Waffa. So, are we thinking red? Yeah, Robin says red hair. Let me get pull out some of this and some of this. Red, red, red. Yeah, I think it's going to be red. Um, Penny. Somebody else, I think it was Lori, had trouble finding it, too. I don't know how it works if you're on your phone, honestly. Lori, maybe you can help with that. I always watch from my laptop. I watch, I do everything from my laptop. Um, I go to the media tab at the top of the page, and then I click videos, and it will be right there. If anybody can tell me um, how how they do it differently, like from their phone, I'd love to hear that because I don't I don't know. She's she got a good backside, doesn't she? I drew that out pretty darn good. Now bear with me on the hair. We're gonna do different. You know, we're gonna make it more hair like. <laughs> Red and blonde highlights. Ooh. Okay. I know what I should have done. I should have painted white underneath this first. You know what I'm doing? I'm just, <laughs> since we're just, I did forget her arm. Thank you. I'll do that next. I've got it still out. Um, I'm going to, get in here with this white first. I forgot who, I get so busy talking and I'm not paying attention and I should be. Because if you put the, you know, if you've got a black background and you're going to do a translucent, transparent color like a uh, yellow or this thin orange, looks a whole lot better and you don't have to put as many layers if you put a layer of white underneath it and I know that I know better I just got got all crazy you had to scroll and scroll down through all the posts to find oh and it was just a week ago I've never heard you do it, but please never make it. Oh, I won't, Kathy. You won't find that here. We're not talking about that. Yeah, uh-uh. That's not for here. It's too, um, no, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't talk about 
politics um, anywhere on social media. That's not that's not how I roll. Not how I roll. Not not ever gonna do that here. I never did it on, you know, my personal page. Certainly don't intend to do it here. We're here to have fun. We're not here to debate issues or politics. We leave that at the door. We can do that on different time. This is our creative time. And I'll, you know, yeah, I'll tell y'all too that even in the, the private group, I, I don't intend to do that. That's not fun for me. You can, you know, you can turn on the news if you want to. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, you found it. Good, good, Penny. Pinned it in the group. Um, yeah, I could do that. I just, it was one of those last minute things that um, I kind of did. Most people in this business would say, no, you, you plan out what you're going to do, get it all together, and then you just announce it when, um, when you have it done. I, I tend to not operate that way, and y'all know me by now. <laughs> I do things my own way, right or wrong, pass or fail. And I like to come to y'all in my tater buggins, sweet tater bugs group and get your opinions a lot of times on things. And there was no sense in me trying to do any type of subscription group for y'all that's uh, that's just kind of personal without getting your input you know why why waste time setting it all up and um, do my own thing and nobody wants to join because that's not what they wanted so okay Betty says make her light gray Oh, thank you, Cindy. Uh, there you go, Lori. It's done. So if y'all want to watch that and see what all this group is about and leave your input, please leave your input in the comments. I've been going back reading. I want your, um, your ideas and your input on the idea of the su subscription group. Thank you, Cindy. Lori's already seen it, but okay. So, are we going, are we going gray? Let me put some more white. You see how hard it is to cover that black. Um, well, there's nothing we can really do about the ones on my business page. That's why I upload to YouTube. You can go to a playlist, you can find anything I've done um, on YouTube in no time flat. So that's kind of why I do YouTube. Well, that and I would like to start um, doing some live videos on YouTube as well. And we are where we can do that now. I may be going live simultaneously at some point on both Facebook and YouTube. That'll be great. I've got to admit, I'm liking the look of this white, and I think we could put a little gray in it. Um, I've got, right here on the table, actually, I've got this drizzle gray. It's one of my lightest grays. Um, do I have y'all too far up? You want me to bring you down closer? How about that? Is that good? Add a little bit of this on my palette. Or, you know what, I'm just doing. YouTube is so easy to work with, to, you know, to look up videos, don't you think? I agree with you, Brenda. Yeah, I think it's a little easier to, uh, Penny, that, yeah, that doesn't cut out as much. It just seems to work really good. That's why I wanted to get on that platform, too gonna have some little wispy bangs because she's sassy like that now let me get some of this white and kind of streak that in there
I'm kind of loving that. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, sweet friend, for those stars. Red dress. I've got it right out here on the table. I think we'll go for it. She may. It may not be solid red either. We just may make it just as funky as she is. Look, I'm really liking that. What do y'all think? Oh, I see those hearts. Thank you so much. Oh, that's fun. Okay, see, I'm already starting to feel better now. Now look at this. Let's get, let me get this brush, this black. I know you think, well, Lindy, how are we going to see that on the black? I'll show you afterwards. I want to do, to fix her face right there. We're just cleaning up a little bit right here, that chalk. It's not really going to show much anyway, but you'll see how I'm going to finish this out. So cute. Hey, Patty. Thanks, Mary. Diamond dust the dress. Oh, I love that idea. Oh, we may just do that. And we're going to do just a little bit of this. Look at that. Okay, now let me get back and do this arm that I left out. Silver gray hair rocks. I wish, yeah, I wish that's the way mine would would gray. I would let it go in a heartbeat. I sure would. Hey, Iris. Uh, the surface Simone is just a canvas that I got at Michael's a while back and painted it black. Simone, I know you are a creator. And I know, do you have a business page that everybody, that you'd like to tell everybody about? Can't see some of her left side. There we go. Doesn't matter. Let it go. All right. Hi, Myrtle. How are you? Oh, there's my friend Debbie from Crafting and Grace. Nora, thank you so much for the stars. Um, how are you feeling, Debbie? We've been missing her. She's been under the weather. Straight black, Lori. Yep, yeah, no, it is straight black acrylic paint. did that come up here elizabeth bauer oh my goodness thank you for those stars my word you're so sweet okay i want to fix that right there so see you can go this i love doing this technique on a canvas painting because it's so forgiving and you can just go right back around it in black but do you see how it ends up? Can I get your address, please? I would like to see. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Jennifer, that's so sweet of you. Um, if you will just message me, I will send it to you. You started a stars party, Elizabeth. So y'all, how about 
some lipstick red for her dress. Because, you know, she's sassy like that. And we may put, um, you know what I think I'll do, though. I think I'm going to, because the red will tend to show the black through just like that orange did. So let me, let me just put a coat of white down on her dress first. I'll try to do it with a bigger brush so this doesn't take so long. Cindy, thank you. Uh, who, who was that? Melanie, thank you so much. Oh, Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much. I know it's kind of boring to have to watch me paint an undercoat of white, but I didn't think about it ahead of time. Plus, sometimes I know some, you'd like to see the process. More Spanx once for my daughter's wedding. Only time through the mouth. <laughs> oh, I have thought about getting some Spanx, y'all. But the stories I've heard, uh, I don't know. I don't ever go anywhere fancy, really, anyway. So, if one of my kids ever gets married, I guess I'll have to wear some Spanx. Or start walking on the treadmill or something. Get serious. Brenda, thank you for those stars. You do, Jermaine? Okay, good. You know, I, I know some people will say it's, you know, you can't please everybody, of course. Some people will say, why didn't you do that ahead of time and prepare? And then others say, well, why didn't you let us see the process out. I like to see the process. So today we're just relaxing on a Sunday afternoon and painting anyway. So here's your process. Cover that black with white first. <laughs> From the devil, yes. <laughs> uh, did y'all see the movie of, quite a while back, Bridget Jones' Diary? And she talked about her big scary panties. They went up way high, and then they'd roll down. Oh, I could feel her pain. <laughs> they were the same thing as Spanx. She called them big, scary panties. I loved that. Lori, did you watch the video um, Thursday of me cooking in the kitchen? I was like, girl, friend, you've got to do something, honey. <laughs> uh, but you know what I'm my age and it is what it is Okay, Michelle, I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> Judy, set them free. Set those attribu attributes free. Let them live their best life. Right? Hey, Libby. Hey, Robin. Just more for Mr. T to love. There you go. There you go. I don't know if he feels that way, but <laughs> oh, he wouldn't he'd be too scared to say otherwise. Fall. See, right, Penny? That's, yeah, that's what God intended. If we fall, we start you know, get older, you start to fall. We need that little extra padding. They'll just help us bounce right back. Okay, there we go. Yes, I have, Jody. I sure have. Hey, 
Hey, Carrie, that's okay. Are you? Does it smell wonderful in your house right now? When you use cook and serve jello instead of instant jello. Oh, you know, I've done that before too, and I can't remember that it made any difference, honestly. Let me know, would you, Carrie? I'm interested because, you know, somebody's going to ask me that at some point, and I want to know because I cannot remember. Did you think so, Celia? That's good. Um, you know, Jody, um, personally, I didn't care for it very much. I grew up, you know, practically next door to Elvis, literally. He, uh, we lived in the Graceland subdivision. You know, I've told y'all before, we've seen him riding his motorcycle in our neighborhood and everything. He was just part of the community. And I didn't think, myself, I didn't think it did him justice. He was a good man. I mean, it had to be hard. It was just odd. Let me just say, it felt very dark and sad to me. And there was some of it that just was odd. But, again... I come from a different perspective, I think, than a lot of other people. Um, and when I did screen it, it was all Memphis people that have Memphis roots, and none of us really were happy with it. I was going to take my mother to see it, and I was glad that I, she did not go with me. I don't think it would be for her. But if you are an Elvis fan, you know, go see it. And just know that it comes from per the perspective of Colonel Tom Parker. Um, I'm a big Tom Hanks fan, and I did not care for him in the movie. I'm just being honest, and don't let me offend anybody. Thank you, Kim. You haven't found it yet, Iris? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was sad, Elizabeth. It was just really sad and really dark. It um, That director, Baz Luhrmann, um, it just goes along with kind of his his style. And mm, I just, Mr. T didn't like it at all. At all, I'll say that. And he grew up, you know, his daddy would go over there and um, jam with Elvis. He, his daddy played the steel guitar. And, um, I mean... Mr. T sat on Elvis's lap while his daddy played the guitar. So he, you know, he's had the peanut butter and banana sandwich from Graceland and everything. But he, he did not like the portrayal. Everybody's going to have their own opinion, though. There's lots, Cecile. There's lots of um, odd scenes that I didn't think they needed to have in there, really. That just That's the best way to put it. Is it, it was odd. It was just odd and dark to me. I wanted more of Elvis's actual music, um, more of what he, how good he was for Memphis, and you know that really was never portrayed. And he was good to to the people in Memphis. Yeah, all can you imagine what his life must have been like? I imagine the same for you know anybody that's that big of a star. Oh, I would never want anything like that. Thank you, Jody. Yeah, everybody can have their own opinion. I don't fault anybody that loved the movie. I, I'm glad they loved it. I just, you know, the, the, just to me, and I was not, I guess I went in with a preconceived notion of what it was going to be, and it just wasn't. Me neither, Elizabeth. I sure am not. Oh, this is so relaxing. Thank y'all for letting me just sit and paint and chat with y'all. What else do we want to talk about? You lost your connection, Barb? I'm sorry. What What is going on with Facebook these days? You see why, you know, we're going to... We need to start um, testing out the waters on YouTube every now and then, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, right, Betty. I, I so get what you're saying. <laughs> Dawn! 
Oh, I know I can't even go to the grocery store anymore. <laughs> Goodness, that made me laugh. I guess he wasn't with me. He was for me too, Barb, technically, because, you know, I'm 57. But um, my mama and daddy both were huge Elvis fans. So, you know, I knew a lot about Elvis. We would, you know, back when he lived there, and we lived there, it was back in the late 60s, early 70s, they wouldn't even shut the gates. And every now and then when we'd be, me and mom and dad would be going somewhere, dad would just drive up in the gates and we'd ride around to the front of the mansion and make the, the loop and go back out. Dad was either really, really stupid or really brave. <laughs> Now, don't you think she's going to need, like, some yellow polka dots on this or something, something a little wilder than just red? Or are we just going to leave it red? Y'all tell me. I am going to put a white, um, little white outline. Not outline, but edging on her dress. Oh, really? Patty, you know, it's so funny. Memphis people um, have all kinds of connections to Elvis. Um, let's see, who was it? It was Lisa Marie's aunt who lived across the street from Gerald's house when they were, you know, all the kids were growing up. And Jody, his brother, is the same age as Lisa Marie. Pretty, I think they're almost exactly the same age. And uh, when she would come over to her aunt's house, they'd play together, ride bikes together. So there are all kinds of Memphis connections. Mm, I need another little brush. There we go. Hey, Amanda. Here's Amanda from Amanda Made. I think polka dots are fun. I really do. Um, okay, now let me finish her dress. I think that would be fun, Sandy. Hello to the Crafty Edge. How are you, my friend? And I hate to call you by your, uh, I have this affliction of when somebody comes on, I love for you to come on as your business and share your link, but I draw a blank on names. It's so frustrating. So you may need to refresh my memory. Oh, she is looking so pretty. Hey, Sandy. How are you, sweet friend? I miss you. She does, Debbie. I may have to paint another one in a leopard print. That would be so fun. I wish I would thought of that. All right. Let's do a little, a little edge on her dress. I wonder how many um, paintbrushes I can mess up. Uh, do I want to do that white? Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. Was uh, where was Priscilla from? Y'all, I know she was in Germany when Elvis met her, but uh, I don't remember where she was originally from. I'm pretty sure she will wait and answer because I don't know as much about her. Was he Cecile? Put her friend beside her? <laughs> I'll show you what I'm going to put beside her. And that's going to be the silly part. Who is your model? I just started, uh, I did what I always do. I just start searching for images and um, look for what sparks some joy. And she definitely sparked joy. Now, she's part that one and part mine, you know. It's not exactly like the other one I saw, but there's somebody who does these cute girls. And um, let me turn it a little bit this way. 
get this a little bit better. I mean, those glasses. She was from Germany. I knew that's where, I knew that's where he met her. August of 77, am I right, y'all? Is that when Elvis died? Oh, to live in Memphis after that happened, my goodness, not to mention being there in Whitehaven. Um, oof, it was chaos. coming along. Yeah, it's going to take a couple of coats of white, but that's okay. And some of this little nitpicky stuff I can finish off, off, you know, after the live, because I want to finish the other side of this painting while we're here. She's got a little cuff. Yeah. Uh, who said that? Well, if you watch the movie and it's even halfway accurate. Yeah, Michelle. It's awful. Awful user. But I kind of knew that. You know, everybody kind of figured that one out. Very sad. The white part needs diamond dust. Oh, I love that idea. Yes. I'll make sure we get a couple of coats of this white on here and we will diamond dust that up too once we finish the other half of the painting. so much. You know, why don't I, um, let's see here. I want to give this a little bit more. I want her to have smoother skin. It's looking a little see-through there. Alright, and I need, uh, where did I put it? Right Mrs. Claus. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a fancy, look what I just did. Oh, uh, Wendy. Touching up here, just touching up. How's it? Oh, let's see. Jane, happy birthday! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, 
Trish can perfect idea. Give her a decade and make a new painting. I don't understand. Yeah, I am, Simone. I sure am. I'm gonna, you'll see her eyelash much better here in just a minute once we start playing with this background. What was Trisha's idea? Elizabeth, you don't have a big old booty, you silly thing. Just kind of um, making that shadow blend a little better here. The shadow from that distinguishes her legs apart from each other, and under her dress. Oh, that's okay, Gayla. Oh, she needs some, oh, yes, some love and life jewelry. Trish, you want to make, like, something that, actual that we can, actual, something real that we can actually put on her? <gasps> what a great idea. Let's do that, okay? Can you do that? And she needs a name gonna need a name okay how's she look how's she looking Sarah how are you doing I it, it, look this is this is what we're doing look at this awesome girl Trish will design her her very own jewelry and oh she'll be so fancy Getting out my drizzle gray again, and I'm gonna find my detail brush. Let's do. Hey, Susan. Thank you so much. I hope you are too. Oh, Sarah, I wish I was swimming. Fancy girl. Hey, Lindy from Pickwick. Let me see who's this, who's this up here. Tanya. I really like this. I think I'm a little curvy more on the bottom and been worried about losing some weight. I'm 63 and living a great life. I have decided if someone does, girl, I love you. That's the way to be. That is the way to be. And look how pretty this woman is. Be thankful you got that curvy booty. Please remember, what did I miss? Oh, wait, I did not see it, Michelle. Oh, I'm scrolling up a little bit. I missed it, Michelle. Stella got her groove on. Oh, I like Stella. That's fun. Um, okay, now there's one color I didn't pull. Let me see. We're going to need this. And I think I best do some white. Let's do some white. Where did you get it? Oh, where? Oh, the dragon fry, fry dragon fry bracelet. <laughs> I found it on um, eBay. No, Etsy. Etsy. I love the symbolism of the dragonfly. And, um, yeah. Thank you very much. I wear it all the time. Again, we're just trying to, um, make the next color pop more. I'm just putting an undercoat here. 
He did, didn't he, Cecile? <laughs> Yeah, it is, Elizabeth, our sweet little tribe bracelet. Because I just love love the meaning, and um, it's wonderful. Okay. And now I want to touch up a few little areas. Did we decide we're just leaving her dress um, solid red and um, diamond dusting the white? What did we decide? Think she looks like a Bambi Kim? Robin, um, it's transformation, but it goes more into depth. Um, just look up the meaning of the dragonfly. You think I am? No, Barb, I'm sure there's lots of others that have, because I looked up some um, cute, I, I needed some cute ideas, so I kind of, this is kind of a composite of what I found and what I liked. There's lots of Kirby women paintings, I'm sure. So I'm just, there, there's a reason, there's a method to my madness here, cleaning up this chalk. Even though we're about to um, do the whole, redo the whole background, I just want these edges to be black. That's important for my finished look. Dottie, I like that name too. <gasps> do y'all remember? Oh, I think I know her name. I love the name. When I was growing up, I loved Gomer Powell USMC. Um, my dad and I watched that together and it's just, I just loved it. Um, do you remember his girlfriend's name was Luann Poovey? He called her Miss Poovey. This may be Miss Poovey. She, she's got a, a Luann Poovey kind of feel to her. Not that she looks a thing like his Luann did, but what do y'all think? Oh, I got to do her shoe down here too. So that's just cleaning up the edges. Let's clean up this edge. Okay, and we turn her around. I think she looks like a dotty too. Oh, does he, Becky? Why not? I love that show. You like Lou Ann Poovy? <laughs> I think that's the cutest name. I always thought so. Okay, see how that just kind of defines? We're going to make her... I think we are going to keep her dress uh, just red. I can always add... Whew, polka dots later if I want to, but I, I want to show you this background that I want to do, and it's going to be quite colorful. So, yeah, maybe her wine glass is dry now. Looks like it is. Oh, thank you, Diane. That's so sweet. Um, now, let's get out wine. The wine color for her wine glass. It's just a little bit different than her. A um, little bit different than her dress. Oh, Treva does not like. Tria doesn't like the leopard print. Oh. 
thank you, Lori. I like doing this when I'm painting. I think you can get a much better, much better view of what I'm doing. This is how I do it in the, the paint parties in my art classes. Yeah, that was still a little bit wet. Barb, do you know her? <laughs> I know, Elizabeth. I was thinking that same thing. I love me some leopard. I just jumped in on it. I'm always late. Always late with fads. Um, and so I'm just now getting into it and finding myself really liking it. But you know, that's what makes the world a more interesting place. We don't all have to like the same things. That's kind of how I am, Lori. Uh, small doses. You know, I don't have in your face kind, but, you know, I, I got those cute... I thought they were cute le leopard sandals at uh, from Belle Lily that I really love. Now she has a full glass. She and a half glass kind of gal. Yeah, those were the good shows. You talked to Amanda from Amanda Made about. Um, those shows, that's our jam. Heck yeah, you know, wear what you want, right, Betty? Get get to a certain age and, you know, who cares? I'm, I'm kind of one that just goes for comfort anymore. Just cleaning up my messes over here with the black. And then we're going to just go wild on, well, no, not yet. We're going to do a little lettering. I want to do some lettering today. How am I doing? Goodness, it's already after five. Ooh, are y'all down for the long haul on this one? I understand if you've got to go. And, you know, you never know how long a painting is going to take. And remember, those of you who didn't hear in the beginning, if you weren't here, as soon as I finish, Trish is going live on her page, uh, Love and Life Ministries, Love and Life with Trish. What? She did a change, and I'm live, and I have live brain. So anyway, we're going to send you straight over to see Trish, and she is going to tell you about some of her new pieces that she has available in her shop right now and maybe some surprises. And I want to take my, this little bitty detail brush. Got to do her shoe. Thank you, Brenda. Yes. Shoes next. Okay, let me do a little line. Right here, right there. And that, I want to blend that in a little bit more. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, where's my, there we go. Let me blend that a little bit. So how am I doing, y'all? Is this is it fun so far? Oh, thank you, Barb. This is this is just for for fun. We'll put some a little in a minute. We'll put a little detail in her hair. I'm gonna zhuzh up the white. We'll do another layer of white. But let's do some lettering, and I want it to be kind of 
like I did my guitar painting. Okay, Carrie, I will. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Um, okay, let me think of what I said I was going to do. Um, okay. I don't want the A that way. What do y'all think? Just go away. I know it's just now catching up. Do you like it? I'm seeing hearts. I'm seeing laughing faces. <laughs> I had to do it. I just wanted something fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me get okay. Which brush do I want to use? Now I'm going to show you how easy it is. I did this on my guitar painting where's which uh, let me find my brush let me find the right width brush I thought I had already used it I'll give me just a second here is that it I'll do I'll start with this one and see how it is I'm gonna use this drizzle gray thank you <laughs> to me this afternoon actually when I was thinking I want to paint something fun I want to paint something colorful so I just started ping-ponging ideas in my head and um, here we are and I was hoping y'all would like it this is the kind you know this isn't the other the kind of lettering I usually do you know but this is fun because you don't have to you know, just find the width that you want the letters in a square brush or a flat brush. Chalk it out. And we're going to finish it out real cool. I might have to do a bigger one of these. This was fun. This is the kind of lettering that you don't want to look perfect. Um, Shady Sadie. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Angie. Oh, it wouldn't let you comment. Huh. Well, that's weird. Yeah. I'm live on my tater bugging page right now. Right now. Oh, good, Trish. Hey, Lee. You like it? How are you doing? What you up to, girlfriend? This was, uh, like, this is what I meant. You know, this painting is my jam, but I've never quite done anything like this, and I'm having a ball. So there may be, there may, may be more kind of like this coming. I've got to fill up Brother Juniper's again anyway. So I got to get some painting done. I may do one and um, film it in, you know, fast. What am I trying to say? Hi what's it called? Uh, Hyperlapse? Time lapse? What is it? <laughs> Words. I'm kind of loving Shady Sadie, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, do you really? Well, I know where you can get one. <laughs> uh, 
I know where you can get one. And then it's going to have some um, Love and Life jewelry added to it. We're going to diamond dust the edges of her dress. Oh, and I've got to paint her shoes. I got so excited about doing the lettering that uh, I still hadn't gotten to her shoe. Oh, on a t-shirt. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to see if I can make that happen. I'm going to see if I can make that happen. Because I'd, I'd wear one. I want one. Y'all, um, while I'm doing this, it just, he's back behind me right now, and I just want to, um, ask if he, if he comes to mind, would you say a little prayer for my sweet Pete? Mama's kind of scared. He's been coughing more and panting a little bit more or breathing heavy. Um, and I'm gonna take him to the doctor and pray that there's just like a medicine. Um, I had one lady tell me that uh, all he needs is a certain kind of medicine and I'm hoping that that's the truth but I don't I don't want bad news on my Pete so if you just say a little prayer for him that he's gonna be okay I would appreciate it y'all loving the t-shirt idea I love that idea um, I've got to get with one of my printers and the sad thing is, the, my main printer is still down. They have been down. Their machine, their sublimation machine is down. I feel so bad for them because, you know, that's their business. And it's been down for like two weeks. So I'm just hoping this week they'll get the part that they need and get back up and running because, you know, they print all of our T-shirts and um, we're we're just impatiently waiting. I don't. I like to do when I'm lettering like this. I don't like for them to be all the same. I like for them to look different and odd and quirky. I think that's part of the fun. So it's very freeing. You don't have to worry about it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay, let's give her a... Um, 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 um. Let's see. wonder how... Um, Debbie, one vet told me that it's... They call it the old man cough, but his has gotten worse. Um, and more frequent and the panning I, somebody said it was a heart murmur um, and that he needs some heart medicine and he ought to be okay and I'm just praying that that's the case let's get her a cool uh, ocean breeze color shoe Kim I love it that would be so fun I'm, I'm gonna work on that Thank you, Jermaine. I appreciate it. Oh, an ankle bracelet. Y'all tell Trish. Trish is going to be doing her designing Shady Sadie's um, fancy jewelry. So, Oh, girl, you're so cool. Okay. I guess she probably should have had red shoes, huh? Oh, well. Oh, well. I don't think this is going to be the last one of these girls I paint, so. 
a heart murmur. Now I need more testing. I'm so sorry, Rose. I hope that it's going to be an easy fix for you and you're going to feel a lot better once they take care of that. All right. Now let me give her the white part on her dress. Just one more coat. And um, thank you, Penny. Look at how fancy she is. She's just, she is, she's got self-confidence. I want to grow up to be like her. She's so self-confident and she marches to the beat of her own drum. Let's see here. I'm missing some things. Can you do a red bottom on the shoe? Well, the way I've got it painted, the bottom of the shoe is down. So I do need to do one with the red. Yeah, what are those? Uh, see, I don't, I'm not into the fancy ones. What are they called? I know what you're talking about, but. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn it so I don't put my hand in, in the lettering. I'm going to make this white pop a little bit more now. And then she'll get bling. But we got to do that fun background. And that's where all the color is going to come in. Kind of reminds you of Dolly. I want to do, uh, that's something else I was thinking about doing is a dolly painting. More, not, you know, real, not like a portrait of dolly, but a fun dolly. All, all dollies are fun. She's fun no matter what, but I mean, you know, just kind of a whimsical one. Now Dolly is so tiny, she's teeny tiny. Okay, once that has diamond dust on it, it's gonna look great. We're gonna be fine. Let's see. What does you, what what are, Kim what did Kim say that I should do? You could start your own shady line, Lindy. Oh, oh thank you so much. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be so fun. Let's just get a little bit of white in here and now we're gonna get busy. Okay. Now let's work on this background. Do you see all this mess? This messy mess of chalk. Okay, this is where I'm going to break out the trifecta. Well, we may even go for You know how I love these, these colors. Uh, Sweet Mint, Blue Lagoon, Mermaid Tail, and Dioxazine Purple. Let's go for it. This is going to be fun. Cause these all play so good together. Trish, am I going on too long? When you're gonna try to go on after me, I don't wanna go too long. Let's take a big old flat brush. Not a big one, but a not so big one. And let's go in with Mermaid Tail. This is my favorite part. Get a little sweet mint. Use your fingers. Let's start playing. And 
we're just going to leave some of that black showing. It's going to look like an outline of everything, and it's just going to make it all pop. Got to get some work done. Okay, Barb. Okay. You have to pop back in later tonight or tomorrow and see how she turns out. Oh, you can't see where I'm painting. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Oh, yeah, I want y'all to see this part. Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, that was my blue lagoon. That was a little bit too much. Oh, an ankle bracelet, too. I agree. I love ankle bracelets. I hadn't even worn mine this summer. What is wrong with me? I don't think I've worn shorts at all this summer, either. I, I just work. That's all I do, y'all. It's <laughs> work. This is why I was not worried about the way the background looked and getting rid of all the chalk because I knew I was going to messy it all up. I'm going to back it up a little bit so you can see, make sure you can see the whole thing all at once. Do you like it, Lori? I think it's so fun. It just makes everything pop. And it's unusual, I think. Get some more of this. Plus, it's so fun to do. I mean, you don't have to worry about anything as long as you don't paint over your painting. Just leave a little black, and you see how it makes everything just pop. Get a little sweet mint over in here. edge of that a flat brush can just get right up in those letters pretty easy and didn't realize this was Lindy painting ah! <laughs> yeah this is a little different isn't it for me Cheryl I wanted to do something different today and fun I needed a little fun and I needed color and so that's why I needed to do a silly painting and some silly lettering, and I'm having a ball. Hope y'all have enjoyed it too. Need to uh, do one of these in a, a paint party, you think? That would be fun. I could design another one. That could be our August I had already got it on my list to go on and design the August um, paint party. We could do that. We could do a, we could do a voluptuous lady, a sassy girl, a whatever we want to call her. I 
Do try it, Jermaine. I want to see yours. It's just so fun and freeing. I need to get some of my purple going in here, too. This sweet mint is just awesome, and it, it works so well with all these other colors. And I just use my finger and kind of swirl it all around. Let's get a little sweet mint going right in here. some purple oh Elizabeth thank you I do need to do that oh I just got another order from her yesterday that I've got to get going on I need to uh, I'll design one that's a great idea and see she may love that y'all see I'm not rinsing my paintbrush off in between. Um, I want those colors to just kind of play off of each other. some mermaid tail. That's always good as a base. And then we'll bring some lighter in. Sweet mint, is, these are all actually Americana. still hanging with me. I've had a few of you hanging with me. tedious getting in between these letters, but it'll be worth it. Sarge says hi. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. I am having a great time. I'm just having so much fun. This is like playtime. Needed this today. You see how the wording is just popping now? It's almost like a little bit like graffiti. Oh, I'm glad y'all like the camera angle. I'm glad you, you're enjoying this. It's it's so much easier to watch this way. And like I said, this is how I do it in our um, paint classes so that you can really see what I'm doing. And I can, you know, I can still see your comments. If I just have to look up at my laptop and uh, see what y'all are saying. The four colors are Sweet Mint mermaid tail blue lagoon and dioxazine purple 
and they are all Americana and they all work so great together. Hopefully um, these colors will print well too and make a really vibrant t-shirt. I think it would be too, especially now with these pretty, pretty colors all in the background. I'm really going to work on that, y'all. I, I think that's a great idea. And um, goodness, if I could do a type of a series of these, how fun would that be? It just kind of, um, I think it kind of makes her extra sassy with this cool background. Oh, thank you, Vicki. <laughs> You're so sweet. I, you know, when I was thinking about it, I thought, oh, it's a Sunday. It's our relaxing day. I don't want to let them down and not do something, you know, fun. What if it doesn't turn out? And, uh, Oh, I've had such a good time, and I'm so relieved that y'all didn't think I had lost my mind yet again. Okay, now this is where I want to make her eyelashes show. We're going to kind of go like that and like that and try to set those lashes off. I could put a highlight on the wine glass. I think that's a great idea. Yes. I love that idea. Really makes that white hair pop, doesn't it? This is when you kind of just sit back and look at it. And if there's some places like that look a little too dark in the background or something, and you want to just run some streaks through it, dip your finger in it and just have fun. I'll fix that up. That's not a problem. What are y'all thinking? Oh, thank you, Trish. <laughs> oh, this has made me very, very happy. This one, this one may go down as a favorite. Let's
of that. Let's do, what did I say? Oh, wait, I know what, did I, what am I forgetting? Well, she's gonna have jewelry. We're gonna diamond dust. Let me fix that, because that's really bothering me. You like the way the eyelashes did? I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so relieved that y'all are happy with this. This makes my heart sing. So if you get too close, you know, you just go in with a little black. No big deal. What am I forgetting, y'all? So at this point, you can use a thin brush or you can do like I'm gonna do. Let's see, I'm gonna grab my Posca paint pen in white. Ooh, that's a little too much. And that's not showing up. I gotta have my other one. This, that paint, that white paint pen doesn't show up as good as this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Lipstick. She had. I didn't put a mouth on her. I didn't put a mouth on her. There may be another one that has a mouth on it, though. That's a good idea. And you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's see. I want... Where's my... Oh, my, 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 my. Let me get my black pen. There's my black pen. Okay, now let's just do... Too much, not too much. It's not wanting to do it on that acrylic paint. What do you think? Okay, let's let's do let's do our diamond dusting, and um, I'll I'll take pictures of her for sure, and then when I get the jewelry for her from Trish, and we put the jewelry on her. And then you're really going to get another picture because that's going to just take it right over the top. And you know what else I've got to do? Come on, Finn. Giving up on that. I think polka dots would look cute on the dress or swirls or something like that, but I think I'm going to just do her just like this this time, and since y'all are wanting some more of these, there may be some polka dots on our, when we do the paint party, or on another one, because we're going to have to do more of these girls. They're just too fun. Oh, a big diamond ring would be cute, too. You're right. I love that idea. An actual, wait, hold on. Let me see what this would look like. Let me get my little goodie tray here that I made. Um, I know I have one in here. It's always totally dazzled, but I've got, there's a little bead I have that I thought I had more of. I thought I have one more. Yes. Does that look like a ring? I, don't, I think it's a little too big. Y'all tell me. Oh, do one in a bikini. Ha! <laughs> that would be cute.
I'm going to have to go back and read these comments. Okay. Um, 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 let's get my... This. Diamond dust. We could do that. Not so slim, kind of sassy. I love that, too. Okay. Mod Podge. I'm just going to shake the diamond dust right onto this here because this puppy pad's on its last leg, and I'll just wrap it up and throw it away. So don't anybody worry about my babies. Vicki, thank you. This was just so fun. This was just lots of fun. It's way more fun to get to do this with all of y'all here with me. Now, I'm going to just let that sit for a minute. Sassy and Shady series. I love that. I love that. We can have a whole set of woodblock prints. We can have some t-shirts. Mugs. What about mugs? Ooh, we're on a little, um, you know, the stemless wine glasses. Those make good water things, too. Cindy, you stop it. Girl, listen. Although, you know what? I think she's pretty awesome. I wouldn't hate to be her. Thank you, Patricia. I'm so glad you did. Thanks for being here. So, do I keep the ring or do I not keep the ring? To ring or not to ring? think mugs would be fun. I think those little, um, well, they can, you know, like I said, they're, what are they called, y'all, that, what am I trying to say? They're little tumblers. That's what I'm trying to say. Where's my thing that Elizabeth gave me? It's in here. I'm going to try it. I don't want to waste that much time. I, Diamond Dust is just doing it. That is so... Yes to the ring, yes to the ring. Okay, we heard that heat gun. All right, it's not attached yet, so let me... Let me see if I can do this. And catch most of it. Elizabeth, this thing is really cool. Oh, See, it's got a plug right here in the end, and you take that plug out, and it's a funnel, and it'll funnel right back in, the diamond dust right back in. I'll add her ring back. Look at her dress with the diamond dust. I love this so much. Oh, my word. Thank y'all for all your help. Yes, I think Trish, it needs to have a drop back necklace or something. She's going to do the actual design, the jewelry for her. And I'll put a ring back on her right there as soon as. Let me, hopefully my glue gun won't take too long. And then we'll get that money shot and we're going to go watch Trisha. Let me, let me do this so I can pretend like I can see y'all. Okay. Right back here. Okay. I'm going to put a ring on her. Hey, you can make the same dress with the same. Oh, Kathy. <gasps> I love that idea. Oh, yes. Yes, I've got to remember that. It's heating up, y'all. I am so glad y'all humored me today <laughs> with this crazy painting. Let me hold it up with her, and we'll add the ring. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think it turned out better than I thought it would. Y'all, the white hair. I love it. Yeah, I'm going to keep that ring. I'm about to put it on. I'm just waiting for the um, glue gun to heat up. And while it does, you probably saw a picture. Here's our do your own thing. Oh, do your own twang. I want to do some more like this. I've got another canvas over here a little bit bigger that I'm going to work on. And um, 
I just had so much fun, but it's kind of the same concept. And after I had so much fun with this one, I thought, well, what else could I do? And this this canvas actually, I had paint. Well, first of all, it was it's textured. I spackled the whole canvas, and then I painted it black. So it's got a lot of texture on it that you can't see in the pictures, but it was fun. So I'm gonna do some more of those too and texture, texturize the uh, canvas first and then do this type of painting. Uh, Christine, thank you so much. Oh, I am so glad, Sue. Um, I think so too, Vicki. So this, this just really sparks my creativity and I cannot wait to do more. And uh, I, I didn't know, you never know what your friends are gonna think of something out there like this. And y'all have been wonderful. And there's her ring. <laughs> I love that ring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Glue webs. Now let me hold her up for the money shot. And we're going to go watch Trish show us her jewelry. Stay right there. Yay! Gotta get that YouTube uh, thumbnail that'll make people want to watch it. <laughs> My poor Mr. T is not feeling so great today. He usually makes an appearance, but, um, you know, he's been working with the workers out there on that. And then um, I think he had a little blood sugar issue earlier today. And I'm just being a little protective of protective of him he's just not a hundred percent but he probably will be tomorrow and nothing can keep that man down so see so your little ring on it oh and wait till she has all her jewelry that Trish makes her uh, okay so now there's the link pop right on over to love and life ministries and let's go see what Trish has to talk to us about and show us because it's going to be awesome. I love y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me. This has been all kinds of fun for me and I'll see you Tuesday at four. Bye.